Deadpool is everywhere these days, and I'm not just saying that because of the movie. The character has seen a surge in popularity that has led to an unprecedented number of crossovers, cameos, and merchandise, to the point where there was an in-canon meta-comic storyline about there just being way too much Deadpool. Whether or not too much Deadpool is even possible depends entirely upon how much of a fan you are of the Merc with a mouth. But if you are a fan, then you know that this tortured assassin needs some love, and thankfully fans and creators alike are willing to give it to him. This is Shipper's Guide to the Galaxy, and it's time to get to know the ship known as Cable Pool. Cable Pool is the pairing of fourth wall breaking anti hero Deadpool and man out of time Cable, aka Nate Summers, aka Priscilla. As mentioned before, and as many characters will mention again, he's a man out of time. Son of Cyclops and Madeline Pryor, a clone of Jean Grey, he was raised in the future and then returns to the present for many reasons, but during his time with Deadpool, his mission was to improve the world. This pairing has spent a fair bit of time together and have quite the history that somehow culminated in the two having a team-up comic, Cable and Deadpool, that ran from 2004 to 2008 and was written by Fabian Nicisa. Cable's name came first, as at the time he was the more popular of the two. Shocking, I know. Their arc opened with the techno-organic virus that Cable keeps at bay using his telepathy getting out of control and taking him over thanks to another virus. While Deadpool's healing factor leads to him having to absorb the Merc into to himself by drinking him. Both Deadpool and him were melted at the time. As a result of this fusion, the two became linked genetically, resulting in a phenomenon known as Body Slide by Two, where when Deadpool or Cable teleports, it's more often than not Cable though, he ends up bringing Deadpool with him, no matter what the Merc is doing. The two enjoy an epic bromance throughout most of their series. Indeed, the two are side by side until the Civil War arc that broke everyone's hearts and broke up a lot of people's favorite friendships, and was the launch of Stony. To cut a long and complicated story short, I know, two late, Deadpool ends up faking where his allegiances lie, which Cable takes to be an actual betrayal, and then afterwards, Cable messes with Deadpool's head to try and make him feel remorse, which just leads to him being more homicidal than usual. This results in the dissolution of their friendship, although they do still hang out together, body slide by two and all. And Cable still makes sure that him and Deadpool are disconnected before he grandiosely sacrifices himself. So then, it's only body slide by one. That was an extremely abridged version of everything that happened in the Cable and Deadpool series. But what exactly made Cable Pool a thing? Well, the characters flirt all the time, which is par for the course with Deadpool. But what's different about Cable is that he tolerates it and seems amused rather than annoyed by it. In fact, Cable has an exceptionally high level of tolerance for Deadpool, mercenary business and all. The dissolution of their friendship is actually referred to as a divorce, and this is in canon and is referred to by both characters like this. Deadpool is clearly hurt by the fact that Cable doesn't understand him and mess with his mind, a move that Cable was employing to try to get Deadpool to come back to Providence so that he could help him. Him, which is a very mutant-esque way of trying to get someone to come back to you. The two are complete opposites in every way, from character design to personality, Cable being stoic, in control, and hopelessly dedicated to his cause, while Deadpool is insane, highly passionate and emotional, and working for whatever side is paying the most or catches his fancy. Their friendship is deep and unexpected, with Cable being willing to stick up for Deadpool to other characters, as well as spar with him in some nice shirtless sparring sessions, and just spend time with him, which is something that not many characters can do. Not to mention, Deadpool has a homoerotic fantasy about giving Cable's metal arm a massage with some WD-40, which was revealed in canon when he was forced to show his deepest, darkest desire. Some elements of their relationship do lend themselves very well to bro TP, which was brought up in the latest Deadpool run by Jerry Duggan, where the pair were seen time traveling together. It was also brought up in their 2015 team up Split Second, which brought them back into the hands of their original team up writer, Fabian Nicisa. Deadpool has been identified by numerous critics and writers as being pansexual, which is defined as sexual attraction or romantic love or emotional attraction toward people of any sex or gender identity. Deadpool can and will flirt with anybody, human or not. However, his time spent with Cable clearly left an impact on him. At least when writers remember it, that is. So those are some reasons for Cable Pool. But why would you not ship it? Well, as demonstrated by Cable's past popularity, things change. Deadpool is far more popular now than he was back then, and hence he has become much more well-known and he has developed a popular OTP with another Marvel character, that being Spider-Man. 
Spidey Pool has definitely overshadowed Cable Pool, and a lot of newer readers and viewers are probably more familiar with seeing those two together. And aside from that, some feel that because of the tone of Fabian and Caesar's writing that all the flirting between Cable and Deadpool is just a joke and not meant to be taken as any sign of serious attraction. And also, Cable definitely suffers from summer syndrome. That meaning that like his father Cyclops, he is very, very uptight. And that can make him difficult to read and difficult to identify with. And it makes people feel that he might not be the best pairing for a flexible, fun-loving Deadpool. Also, the whole using telepathy to mess with his mind? Never a good look. Very hard to call yourself a good guy after that. Still, Ryan Reynolds says he would love to see Cable in Deadpool 2. And I would as well, his quiet exasperation is an essential part of the Deadpool mythos, in my opinion at least. Fix about these two range from different points in their team-ups as well as some other stories in which they've appeared together. You've got everything from Fix-Its, Action Adventure, to some dark future fix revolving around Cable in the future, discovering the brain-addled Deadpool who is still living thanks to his mutation. Cable Pool is definitely something worth exploring whether you end up shipping it or not. Their interactions provide some nice nuances into both characters, and you get to see different sides of them, and it's very nice to see people hanging out with Deadpool who actually like him. Do you ship Cable Pool, or is there someone better suited for the Merc with a mouth? And don't worry, here on Shipper's Guide to the Galaxy, we'll be getting to Spidey Pool very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out the Instagram to see what's coming up next, and stay tuned for there are as many ships out there as there are stars in the sky.